Adventure Pilots, it's Requiem. Uh, today I'm going to revisit Pat Wilson's Campaign Generator as uh, there's been quite a few new versions since I made the first video and I noticed a few comments of people having issues um, using the previous video and how to get started, especially with the cooperative campaign. So after you add the mission text log equals 1 to your startup configuration file, you download and install Pat Wilson's Campaign Generator and also update the Java runtime, you go to your plane's own section. So click on that and then based on the expansions you have you'll select what planes you own uh, because I own everything I'll just hit select all and accept this determines what planes you're allowed to fly so then under administer co-op this is where you add the co-op users so if I wanted to add myself in there uh, which I've already done you'll see a requiem in there uh, you just add the co-op user and type in their username and then hit on create and then you'll see them in a list so if you hit remove, you'll see the list of all the co-op users in there. So we'll start a new campaign. Make it cooperative mode. And we'll do it under the VBS. And just give it the name VBS Co-op. Complete data entry. Now the player name, uh, this is going to be whatever name you're using for your campaign. So I did a name generator. That's my pilot's name. And the co-op user is what you added at the beginning, so you have to click next step, it will highlight it, and we'll select the name for the co-op user for that particular pilot name, and next step for all the maps, because I own all the maps, but you can isolate different maps if you only own certain ones, and then the start date, adjust whoever you want, the role is going to be a fighter, and start started the lowest rank, and then for the squadron, it's going to do the one with the lag three. next step again and then hit create campaign and this is going to create your cooperative campaign just the chalkboard will is kind of good stuff showing the pilot listings and whatnot uh, for configuration I'm going to go to the simple and just adjust everything to the maximum we'll see how the performance goes and then you can adjust uh, air density and ground density as needed and then the advanced configuration I want to make this an Iron Man campaign so that means when I'm dead I'm dead so have to select the max pilot injury to four. So if I was to die, this means the campaign's gonna be over. So I'll accept that. Hit finished. And then go to start up on a mission. So we click the mission. And again mission. Now we want to select the users that are going to be involved in this one. So I'm the only current user, so I'll click the box there and then accept that will bring me over to the right hand side that tells you what users are active for the mission we will click on co-op mission here and then our objective is going to be penetrating enemy airspace so the target so engaging in the aircraft so it's just a fighter sweep so we can look at the map There's a basic overview. You can get more detail when you load into the, the game though. And go to the next. You can adjust your waypoints as you want. And the pilots is the pilots assigned to the mission. You can adjust the payload if you want to as well. Then we hit accept mission. And then the mission is going to be generating. And then while the mission is generating, I will move forward until we get into the game and we'll start up the server. Alright, so you've loaded up the game and you want to start your cooperative server. Uh, if you were doing a standard mission, you'll use the missions tab, but we're doing multiplayer. So we'll click multiplayer and then cooperative and create the server. Give it whatever name you want with a password. You can adjust the server settings. And I've got the list of missions there. This is going to be the mission we're going to be using because that's what was generated. Add it to the rotation and adjust the different settings here. Uh, start timer, it says it's like 10 seconds, it's 30 seconds, it's a little bit long by default. And then you can adjust any other settings you want. And realism, for example, you can adjust there if you want to do certain settings. And hit continue, that'll start up the server. Alright, so once the server is loaded, you'll have the list of co op users. This is my airplane, so I just click on it, that'll occupy it. 
and you can look at the mission briefing, like I said before, a little bit more detail on the different waypoints. We're starting up off the north there. So back to the lobby, you can adjust the loadout of the airplanes if you want as well. I'm just going to throw on the 23mm gun with the high explosive, that's what I like to use. And you can adjust convergence and hit apply, that'll apply your settings. And then when you're ready to start, hit ready. And then once all co-op users hit the ready button, the mission will start counting down. That's what I set for 10 seconds. And we'll start with the engines running start on the runway. And we center the track radar. There we go. I've already started rolling. So one guy behind me, let's throttle it up and we'll take off. So we're born, get the gear up and start joining the leader and head out on the mission. Uh, it didn't get very far away from the airfield. And uh, some of you see, it looks like three fighter aircrafts. Flight leads heading straight at him. Luckily, they're all going to go for him by the looks of it. There's actually four there I can see now, so against AI, I don't want to do any head on passes, as they're pretty good shots. I can see the flight leader got hit pretty hard there. Uh, so, got on the tail of a 109 here. Got to finish him off. So, looking out to the left, looks like he's going to generate a fire. So, it's going to be one kill there. Now, it's in behind 109, number two. Got pretty good hits on him, so he's pretty much going to be out, it looks like. He's going to go down and hit the ground. Another 109 there at left 11 o'clock. So I'm going to maneuver to get in behind him now. A little bit of a hit there, a little leak, which is good. I keep this turn going, we should be able to cut him off again and take another shot. He's lost his weak tips, so that's three 109s down. And I've got no cannon ammo left, so no point continuing with the mission from here. Might as well just go back to the airfield, which is nearby. So as he come into land, come will stop and then hit finish flight and then quit the server. Um, and this is going to create the mission results. And this is why you need to have that mission text log equals one set up in your um, startup configuration file in order to collect them for the generator. Alright, so back into the generator screen, we can go to the mission button and we can set up a combat report based on what we flew. So then we can make our claims. I killed three 109s. Uh, there was two F2s and one F4. So I'll set both of them up. Oops, get back. F2, there we go. Alright, so then submit the report. Then you get a debrief of uh, how the mission went. And if you start debrief, if you want to review that, show the notable events that take place. Then when you're done, hit debrief completed. And uh, then you'll go through some official notifications of your kills. So when you're done with that, just go through the pages and hit finished. This will take you back to the chalkboard screen where you can generate more missions and continue flying your cooperative campaign. So let's say you want to add more pilots to your campaign. You add a new co-op user, so we'll just use extra pilot one. And then we'll go back to our BBS co-op campaign. And then we'll go to personnel. Then we'll click administer pilots and then add pilot. This will let you add 
any amount of pilots you want to your campaign as long as they're a co-op user and you can also add it for any side so you can actually fly against people in a co-op campaign if you wanted to so just give it another Russian name and we'll select the co-op user to the one I added earlier, the extra pilot Then because I want it to be part of my squadron, it's going to be a fighter. Next step. We give it the low rank and the next step. Now I want to make sure it's the same squadron as me, which is going to be the 11th fighter. Then we hit create pilot. We can see it in the list there. So hit finished. Finished again. Now you don't see it on the chalkboard. So what you need to do in order to see it is go back to personnel and then reference pilot and then change the reference pilot to the new one and then go back to your original and then now we can see if you play our pilots they're both listed there and they're both available to use now in the cooperative campaign so that should pretty much cover what you need to get started for a cooperative campaign using Pat Wilson's generator until next time remember to fly safe and check your six